Come with me on a journey to Disney's Alana Resort. On this show, we will explore places to eat, shops, fun activities, breathtaking sunsets, and much more, all on travel adventures. Honestly, when I first arrived at Alani, I couldn't stop smiling. I was so happy to be back here. There's so much to take in. I hope by the end of this video, you will feel like you were there and got a great knowledge of where to eat, where to relax, and how to save a buck when you get to visit this beautiful place. So let's dive in. If you don't plan to drive anywhere, I recommend getting a taxi to pick you up from the airport. Parking fees at Alani run about $35 a day. I rented a taxi with Charlie's Taxi. I pre-booked them online and once I had my luggage, I gave them a call. They dispatched a taxi right away and told us where to meet them. For four people, it was $66 plus tax of about $8. Another great option is to order with Costco if you are a member. If not, you can always use Safeway. There is a Costco maybe 15 minutes from Alani. Since we didn't have a car, we had it delivered for a nominal fee. If you enjoy coffee and soda, I recommend getting the unlimited refill mugs on your first day. They run about $22.95 a mug and are good for your entire stay. There are three soda refill stations and one coffee refill location. They can be purchased at the Ulu Cafe. Also at the Ulu Cafe, you can purchase a popcorn bucket for $10, and each additional refill is $3. This is great for a snack and those movie nights under the stars. If you plan to snorkel at the beach or at the reef, another money-saving option is the unlimited use for $45 during your trip, or it is $25 per day. They have two locations to pick up gear. You cannot use the same gear at each location. At the beach, you can also pick up your gear. If you plan to do some shopping and have a Disney Visa card, you can get 10% off your entire purchase over $50. Let's jump to some food choices and menu prices. One of our favorite places to eat was Ulu Cafe. They have a nice variety of tasty foods. One of our favorites was the acai bowl. We all loved it, even the kids enjoyed it. Another family favorite and affordable option was to create your own pizza. A pepperoni pizza was about $23, so I bought two and it was plenty for five people. Some other kid-friendly options at Ulu Cafe are chicken strips, pork sandwich. If you prefer snacks, fruit options, and grab-and-go items, they have a variety of options at the refrigerated section. The Mama Snack Shop has the fish and chip option. My son had this and thought it was pretty good. Off the Hook is a beautiful spot for sunset views and ambiance. The food was okay from what we experienced. We tried the plant-based burger and it was not as good as we hoped. The chopped salad was a 7 out of 10 and the club sandwich a little bland. There is a coffee bar next to Ulu Cafe if you're looking for the ice blended or ice coffees. I really enjoyed them. You can also use the poolside menu to have drinks brought to your location. Shave Ice and Dole Whip were our go-to desserts. You can get Shave Ice at the main pool area. The ice was a little hard, but I still enjoyed it. You can also get Dole Whip near the beach rentals. One of my favorite experiences was eating at the Oleo Room, listening to the beautiful music, enjoying delicious food with my beautiful wife. Alani at night transforms to a tropical wonderland. The tropical breeze, the sunset with the ambiance of Hawaiian music echoing through the resort are truly amazing. Here are a few fun activities at Alani Resort. The movie night under the stars is a must. They have two nights a week, so check out the daily schedule when you arrive. Be sure to get there with enough time to get a space on the lawn. My daughter and wife enjoyed building your own Mickey ears. Cost is about $25 to $30 depending on what you select. You can also create t-shirts starting at $15 to $25. We were pleasantly surprised by the karaoke night. My kids said it was one of their favorite things to do. Check out the schedule for more info. There is a spa for adults that was still closed while we were there, but there is a tween center that's available. A few last important tips while staying at Alani. If you want to get the best spot for the day, you will need to be there before 8 a.m. to secure your spot. If you get food from the Ulu Cafe or outside restaurants, you can enjoy first-class views from the beach chairs. You may also want to get your wristband for the next day before the evening is over, so that way you don't have to wait in line again the next day. There are two main stores to shop at, one at the main entrance and the other tucked by the main pool. The main store will have some basic essentials. Thank you so much for watching this show. I hope these pointers were helpful for you. Look forward to the next video and please like and subscribe for more future updates on travel adventures.